Police are still trying to sort out what really happened this week after finding a woman viciously beaten to death in her home. Their suspect is a retired federal agent. But as Drew Caritas reports tonight, it's anything but a clear-cut case. A police report gives us a look inside these walls. Tension, fighting, a relationship that had gone sour. Visiting from San Diego, retired FBI agent Edward Preciado came to get his son's girlfriend, Kimberly Long, out of the house and away from the children. The report says Edward spent his days documenting what a poor mother and housekeeper Long was. It goes on to paint a picture of this woman as abusive. So Edward and his son plotted capturing all of her antics, placing his video camera on a shelf on the west wall of the garage. The police report says Edward Preciado had his son stay at a room here at the South Point Hotel and Casino so he could confront Kimberly Long about her very aggressive behavior. Then a phone call of desperation. She's attacking me with a hammer. Call 911, said Edward Preciado to his son in the police report. Detectives moved in to find Kimberly Long dead in a large pool of blood with obvious trauma to the head. This man, who spent most of his life protecting the law, visibly had his own head gashes following the ordeal. Detectives say Edward admitted to striking Long repeatedly in the head with the hammer. However, he said she hit him first. The focus of the investigation now, was it self-defense or was it murder? And 61-year-old Edward Preciado is behind bars here at the Clark County Detention Center on a charge of murder with a deadly weapon. I should point out that detectives did find two separate hammers after his arrest. More importantly, this whole thing may have been videotaped if that camera that was placed inside the garage was rolling during this struggle. Metro still won't say. Reporting live, Drew Caritas, Channel 13, Action News.